Ben Carson has chosen former federal judge Charles W. Pickering to serve as his Mississippi State chair. Even though Pickering has a clear history of blatant racism. So Think Progress reports on this, quote, he opposed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and he attacked advocates who were working to end Jim Crow during the 1960s. Let me pause for a second. You're already out. Strike one, you're done. <laughs> There's not three strikes in this case. There's one, and you're gone. Really? You oppose the Civil Rights Act of 1964. I believe that's grounds to just uh, utterly dismiss somebody. In fact, to not do that, I think, is crazy. They say Pickering left the Democratic Party in 1964 to protest the party's support for civil rights and renouncement of segregation, part of his history that he did not admit to during his Senate confirmation hearings. In the words of a public statement he signed in 1967, Pickering wanted to preserve our Southern way of life, of segregation, and he bitterly blamed civil rights workers for stirring up turmoil and racial hatred in the South. Right. It's the civil rights workers who are, you know, stirring up racial hatred. It's not the fucking segregationists who say we are racists and we want to make black people and keep black people second class citizens. They're not the racist ones. It's the civil rights workers who are coming here and, you know, they're riling up racial tensions. Why do you guys have to be so racist? Isn't that funny? Because it's the exact same trick that the right uses today. Whether they're talking about Black Lives Matter or any liberals, they say, oh, you're talking about racism? You're the racist. Well, that's what they did back then. Oh, pff, the civil rights workers, you're talking about racism? You're the racist. No, no, no. When we call out racism, that indeed is the opposite of racism. You're trying to m murky the waters here and say, oh, no, just because you're talking about it, you are racist. So that means, you know, you can never call out racism or you'll be a racist which is a ludicrous idea, and it's obviously a trick by guys like this. And look at, if they really believe this, think about how they think. They think, you can't, you can't be self-critical. Whatever we do is not racism by definition, so when we say we want to keep segregation, it's not because we're racist, it's just because we're correct. That's the way they view it. So that's why he says it's the civil rights workers who are the racist ones, not me. Now, obviously, after this, it, it became politically impossible by a certain point to say, yeah, I'm a blithering racist, I was against the Civil Rights Act. So, what did he do? He did the same thing a lot of these guys did, where they either fled to the Republican Party, or... Actually, pretty much all of them did that. <laughs> they fled to the Republican Party, but then they say, oh no, we, uh, we, we were never in support of that, though. You know, this is the trick a lot of people try to say, to, well, but Martin Luther King Jr., ha <laughs> ha, he was a Republican. <laughs> so they're trying to say, instead of, and this is a sign of progress, too, if you think about it. Because instead of saying, back then they would, oh, look at this agitator, he's racist, he's the bad guy, we're the good guys. They had to, you know, when you can't beat him, join him. So what do you do? You say, no, 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 we're claiming Martin Luther King. He was on our side, he was on our side. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. But isn't that incredible? Ben Carson. Ben Carson, of all people. is like, you can lead my efforts in Mississippi. I want you. A, a guy who opposed the Civil Rights Act, a guy who was pro-segregation, a guy who was a vicious, vehement racist. Ben Carson's like, that's my kind of guy. And finally, let me say this. Don't you dare ever get mad at me when I say stuff like, Ben Carson is a black guy who's not too fond of black people. I say it because it's true. And that's the thing that gets under my skin more than anything else. You know, God forbid you ever call any black person ever an Uncle Tom. The right comes after you and calls you racist. No, or there can be real Uncle Toms in the world. There can be real black people who aren't too fond of black people. And this is a clear case of it right here. Guys, I don't play the guilt by association game. So if Ben Carson went to go give a speech that was hosted by somebody who had at one point had these kinds of ties, even that I'd let go. Because that doesn't mean that he agrees with that, that doesn't mean that he's on board with that, and that's something totally different. But in this case, it's not like he's passively going along with somebody who has a weird history, a weird background. He's picking the guy to be the chair of his efforts in Mississippi. He chose the guy. He could have chose somebody who wasn't in favor of segregation, who wasn't an open racist. 
He could have picked that person. He didn't pick that person. He actively chose this person, and he knows his background. So that's why we call him an Uncle Tom. That's why we call him a sellout. And that's why he's going to get roughly negative eight black votes.